Hi, Tom here. In this week's Circle Learn Art School drawing, I'll show you one way to draw a chair using two-point perspective. To start a drawing in two-point perspective, we need to draw the horizon line, which is the line that shows the height of our eye level. For this drawing, the chair is going to be above and below the horizon line because we're going to look up to it and down at it at the same time. But before we do that, we need two points as the two vanishing points far apart from each other. In perspective drawing, a vanishing point is where two parallel lines would look like they meet on the horizon. And then we can start by drawing a dot towards the base of the page, somewhere right of centre. So from this dot at the base of the paper, that represents the front corner of the base of the nearest chair leg, we need one line going to the left vanishing point, and then we need a second line going to the right vanishing point. And then we can add a third perspective line going to the vanishing point on the right. And a fourth perspective line going to the vanishing point on the left. And in that way, we've made a square in perspective, which is on the floor, which is mapping out where the chair legs of this chair will be. Next, we can draw the front nearest part of the chair as a vertical line from the bottom corner of the square in perspective. And then from the top of this line, we can draw a perspective line going to left vanishing point. And then we can draw another vertical line on the left corner, a vertical line on the right corner, a perspective line to the right vanishing point, and then by adding two more perspective lines to the left and right vanishing points, then we have created a cube in two-point perspective. We can give this cube, the top surface of the cube, a thickness by adding two more lines going to the left and right vanishing points just below the top two lines. And that will be the seat of the chair. Next, we can work out the thickness of the chair. For the front chair leg, we're seeing it going left and going right, so we've got two sides to draw either side of the original vertical line. Using the same sort of thickness, maybe slightly thinner, we can draw another vertical line on the left for the left chair leg. And again, we're seeing two sides of the chair leg, one going to the left, then the other side going to the right. And we're building up this chair from the square and perspective on the ground. So we need to work out the base of the chair legs and then we can draw the lines, the vertical lines, to make it into the chair leg that we need. Next, we can just repeat this on the right hand side. So again, another parallel vertical line, matching up with the first vertical line on the right. And then the base of the chair leg, the left hand side will go to the left vanishing point and then the right hand side will go to the right vanishing point. And then we can draw another vertical line. Now it might be helpful just to draw a guideline between the base of the chair legs on the ground on the floor. And then that will help us work out the base of the chair leg at the further distance in this cube. So now we have the base sort of footprint of the chair leg at the back. We can draw the center vertical line and then darken the baseline of the chair leg and then the left line and the right vertical line too. Depending on what angle you're looking at the chair, you might find that this chair leg is behind a chair leg that's in front of it. It just depends where you've placed the vanishing points and the initial dot for the corner of the nearest chair leg. We can continue the line in the middle of the chair leg on the right, going up further to make the back of the chair, which will be a height which is above the horizon line. So 
anything below the horizon line we're looking down at, but anything above the horizon line we're looking up at, because the horizon line is also our eye line. So we can draw another vertical line following up from the far right vertical line of the chair. At the top of the back of the chair, it will recede to the right because it's going right. And then we can draw another perspective line to the left vanishing point for the top back of the chair going left. And then using the middle line first of the back chair leg, we can continue that up and then draw a line either side of it for the left and right hand side of that part of the chair. Next we can use the vanishing point on the left to draw a guideline so that we can work out where the back of the chair stops in relation to the seat of the chair in this two-point perspective drawing. So in this drawing all lines that are receding are going to either the left or the right vanishing point and all vertical lines are definitely staying totally vertical. Next, we can draw some slats at the back of the chair. I think I'll do one at the top, maybe not quite at the top, a little bit lower down. Now, because I've drawn it a little bit lower down, it means I can have a receding line just above it going to the right vanishing point. Because we're looking up at the back of the seat, we can draw the underneath of it. Using the left vanishing point. But the actual seat of the chair, that's below the horizon line, so we're looking down at that. Next, we can draw one more slat for the back of the chair. But this one is going to be two lines which are going to the left vanishing point, And they are above and below the horizon line. So because they're so close to the horizon line, they're almost parallel horizontal lines, but not quite. They just taper a little bit as they go left. But it means that we're not looking at the thickness of it. We can't see that because it's so close to the horizon. At this stage, you might want to darken some of the lines that you've drawn and just check for their accuracy. And then use an eraser to erase some of the guidelines that we no longer need. So that's one way to draw a three-dimensional chair using two-point perspective. So the back line of the chair, we can make that continuous just by erasing a couple of little lines. I think I'll just finish this drawing by adding a few more things to it. If you'd like to learn more about how to draw from scratch, please consider joining one of my online drawing courses. There are more details at circlelineartschool.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time. If you love to draw and would like to draw with greater confidence and you want just one course that will give you the essential drawing skills so that you can see real results in your drawings, then welcome to my new drawing course for beginners, How to Draw from Scratch. If you would like to know how to hold a pencil so that you can make the marks that you wish, how to draw a straight line, how to add realistic shadows to your drawings, how to master the basics of both one-point and two-point perspective, how to choose where to place vanishing points, and how to find perspective in a photograph, then this course is for you. In How to Draw from Scratch, I will show you all the shortcuts I have discovered over the years, so that you will be able to see real improvements in your ability to draw with greater confidence by the time you complete this course. To join today, just click the link.